So, if you look at some of the facial topologies other people make, you see it's got some rules, not like inserting topology all over the face randomly, like an idiot. These faces that wraps around the mouth part all the way to the nose part, or the eyes that wraps around the eye socket and smoothly blends in with the cheeks. Okay, with that in mind, let's get it started. First, get this free add-on, it's just great. In fact, if you don't want to, just unsubscribe. I don't want you here. Okay, I'm joking, please don't do it. Once you install the add-on, add a plane, rotate it, scale it down, then go to edit mode and place it on the bottom of the eye. Turn on the snapping, in the settings select the face, then turn on these options. Also make sure you enable the add-on in the overlay tab. In the edit mode select the poly build tool. Now you can move the vertices by dragging them around. Once you arranged it like this, move the mouse to the right side till the right edge turns blue. Now you can drag out and extrude just like this. Wrap the faces around the eyes and make sure you arrange the vertices alongside of it. At the end turn on auto merge and get the vertices close to each other so they can merge. Drag this one down then extrude to the left on the nose. You can also hold control and drag out a new face between these two faces. Now go ahead and wrap it around the mouth part all the way to the chin. Add a mirror modifier and enable clipping. Move the middle vertices close to each other so they can clip. If you think it needs more faces, hover your mouse on the face that you want to split and press Ctrl R, then click. Now go back to the select mode and select the face on the nose. Shift D to duplicate and place it on the lips. Then start wrapping it around the lips just like the eyes. Make sure you have same amount of faces on the upper and lower lip and also same amount as the outside part. Now go ahead and extrude all the edges around the lips. Go back to the select mode again and select any face that you want. Duplicate and take it to the ear. Wraps it around the ear this time then extrude two of them out continue extruding the bottom till you reach the chin again make sure you have the same number of faces as before do the same thing for the top side now simply bridge the edges together when you reach this face just drag it out to the left and the same for the other ones for the bottom ones we have to do a pattern like this so we extrude it till we reach the chin area now we have this empty spot in the middle that we can simply fill out like this i added another loop cut because i needed one more edge to bridge the math part is pretty easy just bridge it edges together. You can now add loop cuts because we have more details here. Maybe another one for this one too. Fill out the bottom of the nose and add another loop cuts for the top one. Back to the side, extrude this one and reach the back of the head and do the same thing for the bottom ones too. Now simply fill out the top of the head using this pattern that I did here. For the nose part, I extruded the edges around the nose this way. Then I selected the edge of the nostrils, filled it and pressed I to inset. For the ear, extrude this one and go around the edge by maintaining the same amount of faces as the back of the ear because we have to bridge them together. Once you've done the whole thing, select the edges and extrude it inside. Now simply bring the both sides together and bridge them. It can be a little tricky, so definitely take your time on this one. Now just fill out the neck and we are done. If you want to project it to your old model, just add a shrink wrap modifier, turn on negative and select your old model as the target. Let me know in the comments if you're interested in whole body topology video and almost 90% of you are not subscribed. That's just... <sighs> See you next week.